The next thing we would do after we determine where we're going to mount it and how many runs we have is we'll clamp it onto the piece of iron. Most people clamp it to the front beam, but like I said, I'd like to have it like this. So we mount these little mounting blocks on that come with the Bloomheart kit. And we go ahead and we thread these hose clamps through. They just slide in like this. And then you pull, keep pulling until you get to where you need to be. And then flip it around and tighten it. twist ties, or sorry, these uh, hose clamps, they're designed to fit around any length of frame. Usually I mount my manifolds and I tip them up a little bit, like so. So they're running straight up and clamp them like this. Uh, lots of times, if this is what I'm going to do, instead of having this excess, I'll actually cut this off and then tape it back to it so it's not hanging. So if you want to take it off, you still got a little bit of room. From there, the next step I would do is we put together our, or our orifice bodies and screw in our check valves. Okay, to put our orifices together into our caps, we grab our caps, put them, face them upside down, we set our orifice plate in. As you can see in here, there's a little groove that the orifice backing plate fits right into. We slide it in like that, number showing up you can see your orifice. Then you go ahead and you snap your check valve in and you push and you can hear feel a little bit of a snap until they're locked in and we go ahead and screw the caps on. Our next step is going to be determining where we're going to run our blue hoses once we've got everything mounted.